Hello. This video is intended to demonstrate some of the concepts discussed by Dr. Loretta Dorn's Chemistry 100 Group 1 Members Project. What I'm pouring into this bowl is 70% isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl and ethyl alcohols are two of the common active ingredients for alcohol-based hand sanitizers. To this alcohol, I am going to add the contents of one egg. This is just a regular chicken egg bought at the grocery store. In our project, Group 1 has presented a lot of information regarding germ theory and infections in the hospital setting. Some might say that germ theory and infection control are actually microbiology issues and not chemistry. But in reality, it's our knowledge of chemistry that it has allowed microbiology to apply the chemical concepts to create more effective infection control processes. What we're beginning to see around the edges here is that the egg white has begun to change consistency and color. In fact, it appears to be much the same reaction as when we would place that same egg onto a hot frying pan. Simply put, that's because it is the same process. Heat, alcohol, ultraviolet light, and a few other things create a process known as denaturing. Proteins are tightly wound three-dimensional structures created by tightly packed amino acids joined by what are called peptide bonds. A peptide bond is a very strong chemical bond that helps proteins hold their unique shape. When a protein is denatured, the catalyst, whether it be heat, alcohol, UV light, or any of the other denaturing catalysts, break apart some of the bonds and the proteins lose their unique shape. Once the shape of the protein is lost, the protein is no longer able, able to perform its job and it becomes more susceptible to forming bonds with other molecules and becoming broken apart. Now you might say, that's great for cooking eggs, but what does all this have to do with infection control? Well, simply put, pathogens, which are microorganisms capable of causing disease, are made up with outer shells that contain proteins. In much the same way that alcohol and UV light can cook the protein in an egg, they can cook the proteins in a pathogen's outer membrane. Now, you can see that compared to dropping the same egg in boiling water, the alcohol is pretty slow at cooking the proteins. So what then is the advantage to this method? Well, if I was to dip my hands into boiling water, I would certainly kill any germs on my hands, but it would destroy the tissues of my hands as well. By contrast, I can apply alcohol-based hand sanitizer to my hands several times an hour with little to no adverse effects. Now, the second important step to using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer is to rub your hands together vigorously. So now I'm going to show you what happens to the denaturing process when we apply friction. You can see that if I come in here and I start stirring this egg white up, The process speeds up considerably. Just a little bit of friction, I'm just kind of slowly stirring here, has vastly changed the speed at which this process takes place. Which is why when you use hand sanitizers, it's important not only that you use enough hand sanitizer, but that you rub your hands vigorously until the sanitizer is dry. You don't wipe hand sanitizers off because you remove the alcohol before they're able to fully do their job. Now, unfortunately, I don't have access to a UV light, but if I did, I could use a UV light to demonstrate this same process, which as we discuss later in our paper, you'll find that we talk about the use of UV lights for sanitization purposes as well. The process and the chemical means behind that process are essentially the same as the use of alcohol. Now, the one last note I'd like to point out from this demonstration is, I want you to notice that while the egg white has pretty much completely now become denatured and quote unquote cooked, the egg yolk 
is pretty much untouched. Now, if I was to leave this in here long enough, the egg yolk would become cooked as well, but it takes a much longer time. The reason for that is that egg yolk contains proteins, but it also contains a considerable concentration of fats. Fats are not nearly as susceptible to the denaturing process as proteins are. Therefore, proteins and simple pathogens are susceptible to the use of hand sanitizers. However, the use of hand sanitizers in UV light is not all-encompassing, and that is going to segue me into my next video, which discusses the importance of hand washing.